Hey, I'm going to keep this as short as possible. And if you hang with me for just a couple of minutes, I guarantee you I'm about to change the way you see the Amazon reselling opportunity because I'm going to give you 90 examples that you can go see for yourself of products that are selling on my Amazon account above buy box. That means above the typical price that other sellers are selling it for. And I'm doing it on a consistent basis. 90 examples. These are examples that are pulled in real time from my account as they happen. The list continues to grow. I've been adding to it every day or so for a couple, well, few months now. And people in our Facebook group, our free Facebook group, there's a link to that group at silentgym.com, by the way. You can jump in there and see for yourself. There's a link straight to this discussion as well in the notes for this video that you're watching on YouTube right now. Go see for yourself. Look it over. I'm taking screenshots and I'm showing you the exact details of where the buy box typically is for all the other sellers and where my sales are happening well above buy box. Once you process this opportunity, you will begin to understand that there are millions of products that you should probably be testing and sending in a few units and enjoying this process yourself. I've got no special unique advantage. It's just the fact that I understand how Amazon shoppers shop on Amazon. See, until someone explains it to you in the way that I'm about to, you probably are stuck thinking incorrectly about what it means to be a reseller on Amazon. You probably think it means you've got to be price competitive in order to win the buy box and make sales until other sellers find it and now the buy box starts to shrink and you run away. Sure, you can make money that way. There's people with very robust businesses that follow that model. They hop on a Mason, hang around for a while. Other sellers discover it as well. They go away for a while, then they come back once the price comes back up. You can do that. It's beautiful. We do that. I love doing that. There's all kinds of opportunity there. I'm talking about something different. I'm talking about realizing that right now, there are millions of people shopping on Amazon. And a lot of them, I don't know what percentage, the data is not available, but a lot of them could not care less what the price is on the product that they're about to order. They want it fast, meaning the only inventory they're looking at is the stuff that's in their zip code. Amazon has a couple hundred warehouses, something between 150, a couple hundred warehouses spread out across the United States. And if I'm a shopper who wants something fast, I don't care about the warehouses that are two days away from me for shipping, you know, three days away from me, seven days away, because there's a, a lack of inventory. I'm here in central Indiana. And if my wife needs something as fast as possible, our options are get in the car, go to Walmart, spend an hour or two trying to find it, hope they have it, or get on Amazon and see what they've got. Oh, look, they've got it. They could have it here in an hour and a half prime now delivery. Boom. Do you think that's coming from 1,800 miles away, the lowest price seller who's competing for the buy box with other sellers? No, it's coming from a warehouse near us. So here's the strategy in a nutshell. If you haven't heard it, we call it the above the buy box strategy. We've actually got a module inside the proven Amazon course that explains it. You don't have to go through that module if you don't want to. I'm telling you right now, all you need to know, if it's a fast moving ASIN as indicated by Keepa, meaning 30 to 40 drops per month on Keepa, that means it's selling at a decent pace. If you don't know what Keepa is, go listen to podcast episode 369 at silentgym.com. And speaking of other episodes you might want to hear, go listen to 554 as well at silentgym.com, where I really break down this whole above the buy box strategy and the multiple warehouses and, and customers shopping way above buy box all day, every day. You'll never see indications of this on Keepa. These sales do not show up as data points anywhere. But shoppers are doing this all day, every day. And I've provided 90 examples in the past few days. So here we have this busy shopper. They want stuff fast. The only warehouse they're looking at is the one that's in their zip code because they want it fast. And guess what? If you're sitting on one of those ASINs at a nice price and you happen to be the only one around, they're going to snag yours. So instead of trying to sell 100 units a month on maybe, let's say, two or three different ASINs and thinking that's the holy grail of success, with replens, with reselling on Amazon, I'd much rather have two or 300 ASINs that I'm selling one or two a month 
and I'm making great margins on every sale. It's easy to restock. I'm not going too deep. I can't get burned. If the buy box drops, I don't care. I drop my price, get my money back. Does that make sense as a strategy? And it shocks me how few sellers are using this ridiculously simple strategy. If you're still stuck saying things like, I just can't find anything that's profitable. Yeah, it's all around you. The fast moving products on Amazon jump on them at a high price. I can't say it any simpler than that. We're on ASINs with 50 other sellers. One of the examples I gave was 50 sellers. I show the ASIN on the screen. I show the keep a chart and you can see 50 sellers. There's only five sellers priced higher than me. And we're making regular steady sales at a beautiful profit margin. I don't care what the buy box price is. I don't care that there's 35 sellers fighting over the buy box. I'm parked at a high price, making occasional sales that are very profitable for me, easily restocking my inventory as I run out of that ASIN. It's a beautiful way to do the reselling game. It's only one of multiple strategies for finding great inventory. We've got dozens of them, but this is the one that I really like lately because it opens your eyes to the possibilities. It's like you thought Amazon was a little pond of opportunity and suddenly I tap you on the shoulder or someone who explains it to you, it gets you to turn around and look, oh, there's an entire ocean behind you that you've been ignoring. This is one of those concepts that's like that. And we have so many of them. I think you'd benefit greatly from jumping into our podcast episodes and listening to the hundreds of success stories from our students. You can hear them at silentgym.com. As you're going about your day, just listen to some of the I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of proven Amazon course success story students using strategies like this and many others to build beautiful businesses. We've got a coaching program as well. Once you start to know, like, and trust us, we'd love to talk to you about that. 60 coaches on our team who are successful students who have built beautiful businesses and they're willing to come along and hold your hand. You can book a call and have a chat with us about that as well. There's a link at silentgym.com about that as well, as well as links below this video to everything I just talked about for quick reference. But if you're skeptical, that's fine. I really encourage you, get into our free Facebook group, look at those 90 examples, scroll through them for yourself. It'll start to make sense that this obsession that the industry has with the buy box is unneeded. You can ignore it. I almost want to print up t-shirts that say, please ignore Amazon's buy box. <laughs> Just ignore it. No one cares. The only thing it's useful for is so that you know, hey, if I have to drop my price to buy box, am I going to lose any money or not? That's really the only question you got to ask. And then test ASINs at high prices. That's it. It's a simple game. Stop overcomplicating it. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you enjoyed this, hey, get over to silentgym.com, subscribe to our newsletter, or just give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to this channel. We'll keep bringing you the good content. And like I said, most of our content on this page is interviews with our successful students. But I'm going to start making some of these shorter videos if you like it. So if you liked it, let me know you liked it, and we'll keep the good stuff coming. God bless you, Business Building Warrior. We'll have more soon.